Hi guys, BVG Hill here. Welcome to a new episode of Dead Secret. Uh, last time, I apologize again for being a moron <laughs> and having the sound messed up. I'm really not sure why that happened, but it did happen. And I'm going to try my best to not let that happen again. Uh, I must have not noticed that my recording software wasn't recording right. I don't know. It's weird. But hopefully it won't happen again. There's a lot of really weird noises going on in this room, and I'm not a fan of it. I was thinking about it off camera. And never mind. Uh, ah, okay. Okay. I thought maybe I should be able to... Has to be a better way to defrost this. Um. Okay, maybe. Ah. What's inside? Looks like a blank sheet of paper. Is there something special about it? Blank page. On a blank page inside this can. Can I like set it somewhere and look at it with? No. Hmm. I don't know. Something to do with. It's a long shot, but maybe there's more to this page. Hidden message appear. I can't believe that worked. Ah. Okay. Dear Josie, thank you for the lemon juice. This is my first time writing a secret message and I hope it works. Today I brought Bullard his weekly groceries and again he refused to pay. It's been over a month. He claims that he's broke, but I don't believe him. My family has bills to pay, too, and you know he'd never send a white boy away without payment. I can't stand this. My ma listens to Dr. King on the radio nearly every week. She says we've got to be vigilant but peaceful. But I'm tired of being peaceful if somebody doesn't pay for your work. I think you should take action. Next time I come around, Bullard's going to pay his tab, or we're going to have some words. Maybe more than words. Don't worry about me, though. I'll come prepared. Bobby. Planning to confront Bullard. Okay. Let me turn that off. Okay. So, maybe... Fireplace has been used recently in the summer. No. Oh, fireplace broom. Fireplace has been okay. Maybe use the... Maybe use this to move the ash? Aha! It's a series of faint symbols. Star, circle, square. Hard to make out the symbols. I wonder if the mask would make it clearer. Okay. Star, circle, square. That. Oh, hello. I didn't notice that before. That's a little bit creepy. Okay, so star, circle, square. What does that get me? I am so lost. Wait, those... These boards kind of look out of place. Aha! Aha! If I can get this poker wedged under a board, maybe I could pry it up. Okay, cool. There's a hidden space under the floorboards. Okay, what does this do for me then? Ah, what was it? Star, circle, square? Aha. Okay, so that's open now. What's in here? Old metal key. Okay. Bill, I owe you many thanks for forwarding my request to the New York Times. I think we have the opportunity to tell one of the great science stories of the 20th century. Make a considerable sum in the process. Times is a great first step, but when we are finished, I want to have a headlines written about me on the front page of every paper in the country. The key to our success is Harris Bullard's brain research. He has discovered something fundamental about the operation of subconscious brain waves, and I believe that he will soon harness this knowledge to build a device whose object is to make men superhuman. Our first task is to procure this device before my before Bullard can publicize it, and my plans for accomplishing that are already in motion. Once the device is in my hands, I am confident that I can re reproduce and improve upon his work. That, Mr. Mitchell, is, is where you come in. An invention of this magnitude may not be considered 
must not be considered or consigned, geez, oh, Pete's, to the boneyard of the academic journal. It deserves praise and recognition from the common man. We will make it the story of the year, and then we will sell the technology to those rich enough to meet our price. For now, we wait for Bullard to finish the device. Then we will make our move. I look forward to your continued op cooperation in this mutually beneficial partnership. Best regards, Graham Wellington. Conspiring to steal Bullard's research. And what is this? L20 R50. Okay, fine. Okay, that's the safe combination. But in order for that to be any use to us, we need to get upstairs. Is there anything else around here that could be of any use to us? I have a feeling one of the doors in this kitchen must lead back into the study. It has to. Hopefully Mr. Woodcutter or whoever the heck doesn't end up finding us again. That would be horrible. I'd probably crap myself if he just showed up again because I was just about crap myself before. Okay, is this locked? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, so now we're in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, are those leeches? Oh, hello. Tub is full of leeches. This is disgusting. I think we needed leeches. Guess the leeches are a recent addition. Full of leeches. This is disgusting. Can we use this jar on them? Ah, okay, fine. Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer, Chapter 14. We rounded the corner and Johnson stopped dead like he'd been given an electric shock. I about ran, in, ran into him, cursing before I heard it. From somewhere far ahead, deep in the darkness, somebody was singing. A woman's voice. It echoed off the crystal walls and then seemed everywhere at once. The song was so faint, I listened hard but couldn't make out the words. The melody was odd, ghost-like. But it was definitely a person singing. Johnson turned and looked at me but didn't say anything. We both understood. Somebody was down there. Somebody who must know the way out. We were saved. We broke into a run, then Johnson cradling his arm as we tried to cross the forest of crystal, scrambling over translucent beams of amethyst big as fallen redwoods. I slipped, hit the smooth surface hard, got up again. We followed the woman's voice deeper and deeper into the cave. Jimmy got to the plateau first, I could tell, before I made the rise that something was wrong. In the middle of the mesa was a sort of hatch, like something off the deck of a submarine. It was round and made of steel, and sticking out of it was a metal-looking locking wheel. The woman's song drifted up from it like smoke. I looked back at Johnson as I grasped the handle. He was out of breath, still clutching his wrist where his hand had been. Trying to keep the cloth tourniquet tight around the stump, he nodded, and I gave it a turn. Okay. Okay, can we open these? Is there anything useful? Okay, there's another bottle. That's good. Good, 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 good. Close that. <sighs> Cold winter increases risk of exposure. Kansas City, Kansas. With temperatures below 20 for most of the state, exper experts warn that deaths from hypothermia are on the rise. Several deaths have already been attribu attributed to the cold this year. I cannot read today, guys. Including two hikers found south of Ottawa and a man in Wichita. December is one of the deadliest months, said Charles Manning, chief medical examiner at Ottawa PD. People don't realize how cold it's gotten and go out unprepared. Profound hyperthermia occurs when a person's core body temperature drops below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. However, scientists do not yet understand why the deep cold kills some people and spares others. According to Manning, men are at a greater risk than women, and the cold is particularly dangerous for thin people. Identifying death by hypothermia can be a challenge, said Manning. If the victim is found in the snow with his clothes half off, then we know. But some, sometimes bodies aren't recovered until much later, often without a mark on them. Scientists do not understand why some victims of hypothermia remove their clothing. Phenomena called paradoxical undressing, while others do not. Last March, the body of a 30-year-old woman who had been missing for several days was found near Topeka. After failing to identify the cause of death... The coroner chalked it up to exposure to the elements. The easiest way to stay safe is to not go out alone in the cold, especially at night, said Manning. If you must go out, make sure that other people know where you're headed and dress warmly. If you're in a car accident, stay in the car. Don't try to hoof it to the next town on your own. Okay. Anything in the toilet? The toilet's a lot newer than the house itself. 
Okay. Ooh, a flashlight. That oh. Did you guys see that? This is real. I could die here. There was a freak the devil guy was there. It's a flashlight. It doesn't have any batteries. Of course it doesn't. Why would it have batteries? Just ordinary soap. The devil face was on there. It totally was on there. Oh, hi. Devil man's in the toilet. I don't have a reflection in this. Isn't that lovely? Devil man's taking a bath. That's all right. There's a whole lot of nothing in there. The Week in Review. God, so much reading. Johnson City, Texas. President Johnson boned up on reports and correspondence at the LBJ Ranch today, pending arrival of cabinet office officials for a wide-ranging review of defense and foreign problems. Defense Secretary Robert S. McNamara and Deputy Defense Secretary Cyrus R. Vance were due to arrive by Jet Star at 3 p.m. CST and will remain... Overnight at the ranch, Saigon, South Vietnam, the Viet Cong mounted an assault on the Bien Hoa Airport in Saigon on November 1st. Washington has yet to comment on the impact of the attack on U.S. operations in Vietnam. Neshoba County, Minnesota, 18 men arrested by the FBI in connection with the murder of three civil rights workers are still awaiting formal charges from the state. Or is that Missouri? That's Missouri, I think. Okay, whatever. The men alleged to be members of the Ku Klux Klan are accused of murdering James Chaney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwerner with the tacit cooperation of the local police. The three acti activists were visiting the area to investigate the burning of a church. Entertainment, the Supreme's baby love, remains at the top of the charts this week, followed closely by Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison at the movies. The outrage opened this week, at, this week Paul Newman, Lawrence Harvey, and Claire Bloom star. November 9th, 1964. Oh, hello. Cutscene. If Woodcutter killed Bullard, he was pretty sneaky about it. No marks on the body, no sign of a struggle. Coroner ruled it was pancreatic failure. So that is the Woodcutter, I guess. kill a man without leaving a mark on him? And why return to the scene of the crime? Okay. Can I go through here? Aha, uh -huh. I can go through here. You still out here, woodcutter? Doesn't turn on. Okay, so we can go and use the knob on that thing. We have the safe combo. And I'm slightly worried about doing this because... Woodcutters around here somewhere. And I'm not particularly fond of the idea of meeting that person again. Knob can fit. Now I can open it. Yay, another bottle. The bottle, the letter E is printed on the label. Sweet. And what was the L R L? Okay. Okay, guys, we're opening the door. We're going up. Up and at him, I say. Woodcutter was not in that painting before. Were they? I'm pretty sure Woodcutter was not in that painting before. I'm like, almost positive. All right, Woodcutter, you creepy son of a... Oh, that monkey was not in here before either. Why is that monkey in here? You creepy son of a... Are you still on the wall, devil boy? No? Oh, he's not even in here now, I don't think. How unusual. How peculiar. Let's go over to the fireplace and see what she has to say about this. Wait, I've seen this before. Yes, it was in your vision. Okay. Okay, guys. Hey, what was it? Left 20... 
Okay, left, right, left, 20, 50, 10. Okay, so left. Oh, no. How do I? Twenty, fifty, ten. All right, it's open. What's in there? Okay, open the safe. Done. Okay, let's read all these notes. Receipt for services rendered. Total parts, total labor. 1389.55 paid in full installed steel siding and insulation per specification ran electrical for fans and evaporator under floor to connect to main line and basement compressor evaporator free on tank and ventilation installed and tested replace standard floor handle with locking variety per customer request why lock a receipt like this away joe this is the only thing the only remaining copy of our research materials i destroyed the rest take this and get out of here after i'm gone They'll turn this house upside down looking for answers. Josie, I know about the secret room behind your wardrobe. If you've stashed anything there, you must get rid of it. I've already cleaned out the freezer. I'm counting on you. Take the files, destroy the machine, and get out of here. Harris. Secret room. Okay. Search the basement freezer. Explore Josie's secret room. The lunar dream apparatus altering the brain to achieve permanent idiofocus. Abstract. William Benjamin Carpenter's work describing the Carpenter effect over a century ago continues to baffle psychologists today we have struggled to understand the linkage between the conscious and the subconscious particularly the ways in which the subconscious mind seems to wield special special knowledge of which the conscious mind is unaware our research attempts to give the conscious mind unfiltered access to all the information stored in the subconscious by creating an artificial bridge between the two we have done this in a rudimentary way with a set of lenses that refract light by tracking alterations in brain wave, brain waves but a more robust connection requires permanent alteration of the brain. The lunar dream apparatus combines engineering, psychology, neuroscience, and a bit of physics to create just such a connection in order to give the subject some control over their own subconscious. We have chosen the moon as a mental mnemonic. After undergoing a treatment in the lunar dream apparatus, the subject's conscious and subconscious are merged whenever a full moon is visible. This paper describes the construction of the apparatus, its function, the details of our research, and the data recorded from our first test subject co-author Josephine Herrera. This must be what Woodcutter was after, the Lunar Dream apparatus. I'm sure he's going to murder me now. And there's another bottle. With the letter C. Okay, so we have all four now. Woodcutter is not in here. Fortunate. Alright guys, but I think that is good. all the time we have for today. So thank you for watching, as always. And remember, if you liked the video, hit the like button down below. If you really liked it, then make sure to hit subscribe and leave a comment down below as well, letting me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions you might have for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but not least, if this, game, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people we meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see you in the next one. See you later.